Morning all. How the devil is everyone today on this lovely Sunday morning we've got again in Alcudia. It's absolutely fantastic. Morning on Facebook, morning on YouTube. Hope you're well. Hope you're all surviving this lockdown that we're in. Oh, cup of tea. You can't beat a cup of tea. This is my third one already, which is pretty good. So come on, get your comments in. Tell me you're here. Say hello to me so I know who's here. You know, I like talking, waffling on. So people, come on. Let's hear you all. My Dutch Fox is my first one. All right, Dutch Fox, how the devil are you? International Fox. Andrew, long time, no see. Where you been? I haven't seen you for ages. You been in hiding or something? Don't forget, morning, Sean. Don't forget, I'm on uh, Adam, YouTube as well. Morning, Phil. Morning, Captain. How the devil are you? There's the boss watching to make sure I've done a good job. <sighs> yeah. Need to pick up my game at the minute. There's not a lot to talk about, so I need to really pick up my game. Can I have a shout out for my daughter, Erin, who's five today? Erin, happy birthday. Happy five birthday. I know it's not going to be the best birthday in the world for you, but hope you have a good day. Hope your dad treats you well and be good. So I'm just writing something down. Right, I'll uh, I'll tell you what, I'll I'll even drop you a little message. There's not a spider behind me. I'm not that scared of spiders. Andrew, I'll even drop you a little message later on, wishing you a happy birthday. Right, morning, Carl. How are you, Robert? Can I get a shout out for Tuscan Arizona Arizona Tuscan Fox? Robert, you can. From Tuscan, you must be up really early this morning to be. Watching me this time of day, can I get a shout out for Tuscan, Arizona and a Tuscan for Robert Cardoza. Good morning. All the way from Tuscan, Arizona, a very own Tuscan Fox. Hope you're well, pal. Hope you've got another far-flung fox. YouTube, there's a few people on YouTube already, but I don't think they want to make comments yet on YouTube. They're not quite awake on YouTube. More of the younger stuff. Hashtag, how the devil are you? Morning, Daniel. How are you? James, how are you? Right, we're going to start off by talking about, before, I've got a little quiz in a bit, but talking about, morning Andres, how are you? Um, is it it's sunny, is it, it's lovely here at the minute. There we are, there's how sunny it is here. Everyone on Facebook. Morning Karen, how are you? And everyone on YouTube, there we go, look, lovely and sunny. Don't want you missing out. Morning, David. How are you? Well, first thing I want to talk about is these wage cuts and these per people going on furloughs or furlongs, whatever it is. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I'm not even sure exactly what it is. I think it's something to do with the government states. They pay all the money. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. But is it right? Do you think that the players ought to have a decrease in wages, have a... Um, a drop in wages because in Spain the Barcelona players took 70% just like that not even thought about it they just took 70% that's it morning Dave how are you Graham you're welcome Zachary from America on Facebook this morning morning Lisa Lisa not many cups of tea left you better get that parcel sent to me is it right should they take or should they take these wage cuts that's what I'm thinking I think yes at least 30-40% put the money Make it to good. Make it to good use. Um, put the money somewhere up. I know. Where's the pool? The pool could be next week. It really could be next week. The pool, uh, because I need something to do. And I need to get a bit of a splash going. So yes, the pool. Morning, Julian. How are you? Hope you're well. You're actually in my quiz later, Julian. So listen out for the answer. You should get this one. This should be the one question you get. Um, so. People are agreeing with, and yes, they should take a, a wage cut um, because I think that yes, Tom, Tom's just said yeah, there were millions and millions. I think they ought to give at least something back. Yeah, very. I I don't think we'll go the same way, Anthony. I really don't. Morning, Josh. Uh, Joseph, sorry. How are you? Voluntary. I'm not. Yeah, it should be voluntary, but I haven't got the pool yet. I think it should be voluntary, and I don't think it should be. Yes, it should be voluntary, but there should be a limit, uh, should be amount that they have to pay, a minimum amount at least. Like Phil says, 30 grand a week, uh, they can afford to take a pay cut. Even if it was 
50 I don't know. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. I honestly really don't know how much it should be. But I think they ought to take a pay cut and that money that they're saving, I don't know what happens. Does it go into does, does it go into a state pot? Where does the discount go? Does it go back into the club? Is it paying the wages for other uh, the staff there? I mean, like Spurs and Liverpool. Liverpool uh, Spurs have got 550 people on this furlough. So I'm not even sure what this furlough is. I think it's something, to, like I said earlier, something to do with the government state that they're going to pay the money. I'm not sure, to be honest. We've just got to wait and see. Um uh, Oh, lost it. Lost my phone then for a minute. Sorry about that. I was reading the comments. We're going in the hot tub this morning, this afternoon. It'd be rude not to. Yes, it would be rude not to. 20 or 30% weekly wage would probably cover some of them, those non-playing staff. Yeah, totally agree, Simon. Totally agree. Is that what it would do? They'll take the cut and then the non-playing staff would get their, their cut of that. Is that how it works? Is that what the, the percentage would be? 100% they should then. Yeah, totally agree. Morning, Kenny. How are you? Hope you're well. Morning, Susan. How are you? Especially if it goes to the non-playing staff at the club. Yes. Morning, Terry. How are you? Hope you're well. If it's me, mortals have to go. Yes. Totally agree, Chris. Morning, Neil. Is the sun out there? Stream. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Everyone. Right. I was taught I was being serious and Gray's Gray's jumped in here. It was his it's his birthday today. And he wants me to sing happy birthday. So if you want me to sing, everyone on here, there's hundred over a hundred people now. Everyone, if they want me to sing, put a thumbs up. Happy birthday to Gray. If they want me not to sing, thumbs down on the emojis. So put a thumbs up if you want me to sing happy birthday to Gray. The missus just said poor thing. The sun's out. Hey, 20 degrees there, is it? Where are you, Colt? You're not back in Leicester, are you? Yes, Imran, should be. Where are you spending your five million? I wish. I wish I had that much spare. Yeah, everyone, share this video. I need to get as many people as I can. Happy ber happy birthday. No, so, right, the missus is going sunbathing now. Yeah. It's thumbs up. It's looking like it's all thumbs up. <laughs> lovely in Bath. Is it? Nice and lovely in Bath. There's, uh, there's lots of thumbs. Morning, Nigel. How are you? Right, so it looks like I've got to sing happy birthday to Grey. Now, my singing voice ain't very good. It's probably going to absolutely belt it down in a minute. And if the viewers go down, Gray, it's because of you. If I, if the viewers turn off because I'm singing happy birthday, then yeah, Gray is more famous. <laughs> morning, all. Morning, Jack. Right. Here we go. Oh, hola. hola. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Right. Here we go. Are we all ready to the tune of to the tune of Happy Birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gray. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! I would have had a cake for you, Gray, but there's that many candles. The fire brigade are too busy to put them out. So, no, actually, Jason, listen, there is no dogs howling at all. So my singing hasn't started the dogs off. So that's quite good. So right. Oh, sing it while I was washing my hands. Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Don't forget, wash your hands properly, in and out, rounded about, thumbs everywhere, at least 20 seconds. Hey, at least I did it. At least I sang it, David. It's more than a lot of people did. Morning, Thomas. Which part of Australia are you from, Thomas? I've got family in Perth and I've got family in Sydney and I've got friends in Sydney and some friends in Melbourne as well. So, viewers went up. No, but they're going down now. Great. Now they've heard me singing. They've turned off and that's it. Yeah, it's not raining now, Jack. Wait, you need to do it again. I'm not once is enough. Sorry, Chris. If you didn't wash your hands in time, that's not my fault. We've seen Jamie in his speedos and now he's singing. Wow. How do we want to keep the viewers? 
You haven't seen me in my speedos. They were my swim shorts, actually, Phil. If you're looking at that photo on Facebook of me this this morning, oh, uh, sorry, I put a photo on there this morning, and it was me in my swim shorts with my Santa hat on, Christmas Day on the beach in Alcudia. So, sing a city song. I sing loads of city songs. Ebora, whoa, Ebora, whoa. He came from sunny Spain to live on Saffron Lane. Ebora, whoa. I love that song. Oh, I think that is the best song ever. Absolutely brilliant. I love that. Come on, YouTube, get your comments in. Don't have, don't let Facebook have all the fun with all the comments. Yes, Carlos, I'm really missing football. Time to get the pool out for the next week. I tell you what, if the more than likely we are going to get the pool out, but if we get the pool out, then it's got to be for the first time because it's going to be ice cold. It's going to be at least over 175 viewers. For me to get in that pool next week, it's got to be at least 175 viewers. So that's what it's got to be. It's not up yet, but I'll put it up. Nothing, Nothing's happening, Andrew, in the transfer window. And if I get over 175 viewers, I will jump in there, not in my speedos, because that will probably turn people off. I will jump in there in like I normally do. The first one, it'll be absolutely freezing. So you get liking and sharing this video and making sure everyone watches me jump in that pool next week as a special for you. Just for, for no reason, just a special for you. I'll jump in that pool. It's not there yet, but it will be. Right. Enough of... We lost 10. Yes, Sean. See, it's not my fault. It's... See, Phil and, Phil and Chappie can't jump in their pool, can they? Because they haven't got a pool to jump into. Sing easy like Sunday more. I can't do that. I don't know the words to it, really. Right. Let's do a little bit of a quiz, just to keep everyone happy. Give it a few easy questions. So, I like watching you and Phil. What happened to the American chap? Don, he's in America. And he's working a bit hard at the minute, so he's having he's not having time to do it. But if everyone wants Don back, bombard him with messages. He's the Late Night Fox on Facebook. Check out the Late Night Fox on Facebook. Bombard him with messages. Absolutely bombard him. So we want you back. We want Don. We want Don. That's what you've got to do. Bombard him with me. You wonder what's going on. Andrew? Uh, yes. Technically, it's not, oh, the transfer, it, it, I think it all depends on when the uh, season starts, pal. It really does. Right. I said we're going to have a little bit of a quiz. I've got 10 questions here that you can't see, all on this paper. And I'm going to ask... Are you on lockdown over here, Rob? Yes, we are. If you want to have a look at my YouTube channel that I've restarted up, you'll see the. Uh, I'll try and do a little bit of a daily video about it, uh, about about the lockdown. So if you want to go on the YouTube channel, The Fox's Arms, please subscribe to it, uh, and you'll get details on there about it. So all go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Right, here we go. We're going to do a little bit of a quiz for all you Leicester fans out there. I'm not sure how this will work. There's got no prize. It's just a bit of fun, really, just to see see how everyone gets the answers. Right, me and Phil. Right, here's the quiz time. Are you ready? Me and Phil, or Phil and I. Me and Phil, Phil and I. Whichever you want, whichever is correct. We did an interview with Julian Watts on Monday night. I want to know. The first question is. The first question is, I want to know is, how much did we sign Julian Watts for? From Sheff I'll give you a clue, from Sheffield Wednesday. So how much did we sign him for? Who's going to get the first answer with that? Yes, John, big thank you to the NHS for everything they're doing. Totally agree, could not disagree with you any more about that. That is, they're doing a fantastic job. So the first question is, how much did we sign Julian Watts for? Adam, good answer. Jack, good answer. Great, wrong answer. Jason, no. Andrew, no. Uh, Phil, no. John, Agar, no. 
See, no one's even close. No one's close to it yet. I thought all you Leicester fans would be getting this. No, we didn't get him on a free. Pronouncing two skin is like two sun. Oh, two sun. Sorry, did I say two sun? Sorry, two sun. I got it right eventually. Right, the answer to the first question that no one got right, which I thought people would get right. I bet you're all rushing off. No, Anthony, I bet you're all rushing off to go and get your book in your... You can't. That's cheating. You've got to use your head. It was. It was. Du, 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 du. £210,000. That's all we signed. No, too late, Gray. Too late. £210,000. That's how much we signed. Julian Watts from Chef Wednesday. There's a bit of useless information for you. Right. See, no one got that one. No one got that one. Uh -uh. No, no, John, you you were miles off. It was 210,000. Right. No one got that one. Question two is about a guest we're going to have on Thursday night. We'll have an extra show on Thursday night at half past seven. Uh, it's Ewan Roberts. Ewan Roberts is going to join us on Thursday night at half past seven on an extra fan zone. Me and Phil, and I think Chappie's joining us Thursday night. So it's about Ewan Roberts. I want to know... How many goals did Ewan Roberts score in total in his Leicester career? That's cup, league goals, cup goals, Europe. Oh, we went in Europe, were we? Um, but all his league goals, how many did he score in his career for, for Leicester? Yeah, so if you want to, if you want to come and watch Ewan, uh, the interview, Thursday night at half past seven on our extra fan zone. No, no, great. Two minutes. You're all guessing. No, Andrew. I thought you'd have known that these things should come off your top. Of these questions I just wrote down straight away with these and got the answer. Come on, you Leicester fans. You should know this. No, Sean. Don't forget, it's the total, the total goals, league and cup and Europe. Well, like I say, we weren't in Europe. No. Morning, Lee. How are you? Hope you're well. Jason, no. Close, but no cigar. Come on, somebody at least get one. I thought these were easy questions I was asking. Everyone's Googling, everyone's Googling it. Everyone's Googling it. Adam got it. Adam got it. He's Googled it, hasn't he? He's good. Adam, you've Googled that, haven't you? You've Googled that. So Adam was the first one to get it right. All right, Derek, how are you? How, Uncle Albert, how the devil are you, Uncle Albert? Long time no see, my old submariner. submariner. You sunk any more ships recently, Uncle Albert? Se 76, I wish it in 76. Right. No, Adam got it first. It was 44. The answer was 44. No, just clever. You've Googled that, haven't you? You've Googled that, Adam. The answer was 44. Adam Lewis got it. I thought these were going to be easy questions, but I think I made them... I think I've made it a bit hard for everyone, actually. Right, the next question. Who did Muzzy Is It score his first goal against? Not... Yeah, so who did he score his first goal against? Right, Sai, how are you? Terry, you've, somebody had already put that answer. You weren't the first. Morning, Craig. I want to know who did Muzzy Is It score his first goal? Yeah, eventually after the answer was given, Terry. Who did Muzzy's it score his first goal against? Oh, Anthony got it straight away. Second guess, Anthony got it. It actually got us into the playoffs. Remember that? It got us into the playoffs against Palace. No, it, it was against Palace. It was the last game again of that season. He, he scored a header. Cracking goal that was, Jack, but that wasn't the, that wasn't the right answer. No hashtag it wasn't Oxford. It was Watford. It was Watford. The last game of the season. You were close. You were two off. No. So the answer was Watford. Sorry, Adam. Somebody already beat beat you to that. Look, I forgot to write his name down. Let me just have a quick look. It was Anthony Sharman that got that one. So you all having good guess? You've got yes. It's there now. So even Susan got it. Even Susan got it. Not Everton. You got there eventually, but great. You're too late for that one. Right, so 
you all got the answers now. Anthony Sharman got that one. Right. Here's one for you. Who? This is a bit old school, this is. You've got to use your brain for this. You've got to be about my age to get this one, I think. I know that's not old, but you've got to be still a bit old school for this. Who did Gary Lineker, or Lineker, who did Gary Lineker play his first game against for Leicester? Who was his first game against? Now, this is this is like the best Leicester player to pull on a Leicester shirt, or the most famous, not best, most famous player to pull on a Leicester shirt. So who did Lineker play his first game against? And remember, it's a bit old school, because I remember it. So, oh, Ian, you are clever. Are you cheating there, Ian? Ian Miles got it first guess. First guess. No, that was a good game. The Shrewsbury won, yeah. Everton, no, he signed for Everton. Morning, Glenn. How are you? A few too many whiskies. Don't blame me. You've got nothing else to have you. You can't go out and drink it. Matthew, I think you're about my age, aren't you? At least you're here now, though, Glenn. Better late than never. You were there, were you? Blue, you're my age, are you? I wasn't there, so you must be about my age there. At least you remembered. Good memory. So we ain't got that. So the answers are coming out pretty quickly now, aren't they? Right, so the next question, Ian got that pretty easily. Karen, well done, Lee. Well done. Spencer, well done. Same game as Dave Buchanan. And Dave Buchanan scored as well, didn't he, on his debut? Booyaka. So that'd be useless information there. I've got so much useless information in my head. It's untrue. It really is. More than just useless, it really is useless information. <laughs> he did play a lot better, didn't he? He played more games that season. Right. The next one, this is simple. This is simple. This is another famous Leicester player. Where did we sign? Morning, Scott. How are you? Your shirt is up on the wall. Your shirt is up on the wall. Not sure how many people are going to see it this year, but your shirt is up on the wall. So we shall see. We shall see if you're over here and see if many people see it. But your shirt is there. Cheers, Scott. Where did we sign Alan Smith from? There's the next question. Just boom, put it in. I can't get... If people are asking on YouTube, I'm sorry, I can't seem to... It's not coming up online. The, the comments are not coming up online again. I don't understand why they're not coming up. So if anybody's on YouTube, will you please let me know if the comment's coming up on Facebook? Because I don't know. I can't see them. No, we signed him to... No. Ian, how, do you, Ian, how are you getting all these questions? Ian's got it again. First time, Ian. Ian must be a real stato when it comes to questions. Sean, you're a bit late. Anthony, you're a bit late. Ian got in there first, I'm afraid. First one coming, Atherson. You were you thinking of Old Church there, John? I'm not sure, but uh, you're pretty quick. But in hashtag, you got it eventually, Mark. You got it eventually. Your era, so you're about my age, are you? You're all getting it eventually, but you've got to be quick on there. Got to tap them keys quick. Got to make sure you get in. Right, here's a question for you, Karen. Yes, Old Church. Yes, Spencer. Correct. We're all going to the. My question, what was the name of the supporters is in three rows up and four row seats? <laughs> Fred Bloggs? Joe Bloggs? Right, David, how are you? Right. My next question is, how many premiership goals did the pest Paul Dickoff score for us? How many did he score? Come on. How many did the pest Paul Dickoff score for us? In the Premiership, just the Premiership only. So there's not many getting this one, is there? 